Alright, welcome everyone. I'm going to uh, do another tutorial here with uh, Maya and nothing too fancy. Um, this is going to be a kind of a beginner's tutorial and there's probably going to be lots of mess ups um, as we get this kind of implemented, I should say. Um, not going to be too fancy. We're going to do the table 3D model, okay? So you take a cube, stretch it out, okay? Once you get to a kind of a table-like board, going to subdivide this guy. I'm going to keep the height at 1. The width I think we had at maybe I should be thinking this in better terms. There we go. Much better. Okay, I'll do that. Like I said, lots of mess ups probably. Um, and I'm willing to admit it. So, okay, so 5 will be the width, so 5 spaces and 1 for the height and then maybe six for the depth okay so this allows for you know better just kind of overall geometry I guess uh, and the next thing what I'm going to do is we can do it two ways we can either start at the top of the table or we can start at the bottom okay it's not going to be anything too fancy like I said beginners tutorial okay So use the paint selection tool and select those two sides. Um, and I'm gonna do an extrusion. So, so go to edit mat, edit mesh extrude, okay? Just gonna stretch it out just a little bit. Okay. And pretty much the same for the underside, other side here. Make sure you clear the previous selection before doing that. Okay, so just click off screen. There you go. Alright, and then I'm going to do that one more time for the top, middle, port, you know, border edge thing here. Okay, and do another extrusion. Okay, so that will kind of lead me to a border, okay? Alright, and I think what I'm going to do is, I'll leave this as is here. Okay, like I said, thorough planning here, so I've got to think about this right. <laughs> Alright, so it depends on how I want to make this table. How fancy, you know, how how ornate, I should say, do I want this? And so I could just make a board with four legs, okay? Mission accomplished, you know? Almost. Um, or I could make a nice little ornamental, like, border here where, and I'll show you that in a second. Just trying to think about an old table I had when I was a kid. Kind of like a coffee table, so maybe this would be instead the dinner table um, tutorial. This would be the coffee table tutorial. I don't know, um, but let's see what we can do with this. So if we kind of make this a little bit as such. There, stretch out the other sides. Okay, it gives us grounds for four legs. Okay. And the other portion we're going to think about is our border. It's like almost like I need to have an additional set of, not set of geometry, but portion of geometry in there. So I think what I'm going to do is do an insert edge loop. And maybe that will help this situation. Okay. So we got the top portion there. And one more would probably be there, and one more here, okay? So I know it's kind of difficult to see, but you can see it's kind of taken shape already. We have a series of vertices that are kind of aligned for a border to be formed, alright? 
Now you're probably wondering, what's all that for? Okay. And as you can see, it's not quite even. It's a little bit. It's a little off, you know. Let's see if we can fix that. Symmetry is a little off. Okay. So I'm going to try to correct that just a little bit. And like I said, this isn't going to be like spot on or perfect. This is just kind of getting used to manipulating vertices and, you know, using extrusions. So this was the bottom portion of our table, the one that I remember as a kid. So go to your paint selection tool, right click, go to face. Okay. I just only want a certain portion without having to, you know, select the other, the other side, the top side of the table. Okay, and maybe you can see where I'm going with this. Alright, so not just a fancy square I drew, but I'm just selecting actual geometry that I'm gonna use for an extrusion. And let's see if this worked. So we have ta-da. Okay. So we have our table. Alright. So there we go. Tabletop, I should say. And it's pretty even. You might have a little bit stretching there, you know, in. I guess you should say in another section. Now, um, not in, in another. Lack of coffee. Okay, uh, not in another section, but in, um, when you go to texture it. And okay, so we need legs. This table needs legs, okay? And we have to decide how this is going to play out. Now, we can have this this nice, like, kind of like a trim border here, or the underside, you know, and um, it could be really deep, which that would be kind of cool for, like, an outdoor, like, table or something like that, um, which we are not doing in this tutorial. Um, you can also make it kind of somewhat, under, you know, underneath, you know, allow for... You know the dog to hide it, hide just a little bit under. You know, uh, this was a coffee or the cat I should say. This is the coffee table, um, but we still got the problem. Of where do we put the legs? Do we make the legs cylinders underneath? Do we make the legs part of the geometry under an, another extrusion? Like per se, if I go into orthographic view, okay, and uh, let's say I want that section and this section here this is the skill tool to kind of make this a little bit even <coughs> okay so some thoughts here okay so we got our underside of the table let's say that's kind of the problem with this you know so we have to figure out how our legs are constructed, you know, do we want this as like an Ikea table, do we want this as like a Minecraft table, you know, do we want this, you know, whatever type of table it is that's just cheaply constructed and, you know, might not last forever. Um, anyways, select the four corners there, and so we can do two things, we can either go, whoop, okay, got a table, okay, low poly table, alright, so, Everything's pretty even, and because of our thorough planning, we the table's got legs. Okay. All right. So pretty much, you could stop there if you if this is what the, what what you want. Okay. The geometry's pretty even. You know, you can actually do way more than this. You know, you can go back, and what you can do is um, pull it out just a little bit. Maybe let it taper, okay, just a little. Do another extrusion down. You know, maybe you want to get this really, you know, like different shape pattern, you know, you want it to like taper in, taper out, okay? Do another extrusion there. You know, it really depends on what you want, you know? So, and this is your table, so 
at this point, you get kind of some art artistic merit in this. And you can have it taper in, taper out, and you know, you can have it be a little bit more elliptical, which, you know, more detail, you know, from what I heard in woodworking, like basically the more expensive it is. Also, you know, in terms of quality of the material you're dealing with. Um, I think I had a friend in college that, that worked with wood, and I think probably something he talked about during our Bible study meetings. Okay, so we got kind of a little, a little bit ornamental look there, you know, and like I said, not going to be detailed. And this is going to be a tutorial where it's not going to be two ends out on, on you, you know, you can go boop if you want. Or if that just looks kind of weird, um, since this is coffee table, you can go like that, you know. Um, it, it really depends on what you want, okay? It could be something just that cheap. It, it could be, you know, you could sit there and get the nice tapering, you know, as much as you want. In this case, I am going to do not that because that's not what I wanted. what I wanted? Not quite. The one thing though, you don't want to pull this all the way down like that because the reason why I didn't get the stretching of the overall geometry and you kind of see it already in the render. You start getting this like kind of stretched out look and that's kind of a, an illegal thing almost. You can do it, but it doesn't mean it's not going to have any repercussions against you, you know? So, I'm going to go back a couple steps and make sure this is clean. And, let's see here. Oops. I just did it. Okay, no, I did Okay, good. Alright, so, I'm going to do one more extrusion. I'm going to make this a little bit more productive workflow here. There and it's gonna make a general table. Make sure this doesn't take too long. Right. So you can do what, whatever you want with this one. Um, and in the event, like you just did what I did, where you get kind of a stretched look out, you know, do another extrusion, you know. Make sure, just kind of prevent the stretchiness from happening, you know, and if you need to taper it, you know, use the scale tool, you know, go in there and prevent that from happening. Um, that was the, the F key I used, so. Going a little bit more. And we don't want to make this too pointy because then we might get the table to rock if this was kind of real life, you know. Alright, so. Like I said, nothing fancy. It may actually look kind of ugly. Uh, I am going to balance out this stuff here. Maybe let it look like that. It balance out the, the geometry a little bit. These legs look really long. So I. That's why you never want to like render in like 3D. Um, things happen, you know. So, got a table, and it's got four legs. 
geometry is pretty much even, okay, and with an exception of, you know, these areas here, which kind of let it taper in and out, you know, but, you know, sky's the limit on this. I mean, you can actually make additional pieces, and I think they call it a leaf table. I think I, I've got one around here somewhere, I think over there somewhere. Um, you can make little spindles in, you know, the section here if you want, um, uh, different tools, you can, like, model based on a path or a uh, curve I should say and you, you can make even more ornate trims here if you want to but for the most part right now this is our table and like I said it wasn't going to be anything anything too detail oriented this is just kind of basic geometry with extrusions um, and you know having a taper in and out but kind of getting the gist of just kind of e even geometry you know it's clean it's, like I said, nothing too fancy, you know, uh, if, you can also play with, like, smooth, you know, if you want to, um, that's really smooth out, wow, okay, anyways, you can do what you need to with this one, uh, this is a pretty simple tutorial, it's not gonna be anything too fancy, like I said, and this is just kind of getting you used to, like, using, like, 3D modeling tools inside Maya, um, uh, but practice with this, and see how it goes, okay, thanks.